Hi guys, what's up? In this tutorial, we are learning how to draw curved lines. Let's open the file. How to draw curved lines? You can download it from our website. You will find I have already provided you a curved model. We are learning how to do it in this tutorial. Cool, let's find the polyline comment. Select it. And then we need to draw a straight line first. How to draw it? You can hold your shift command and then we can draw it straight. Click it and press enter to confirm your command. Cool. And then control C, control V, copy and paste. Drag this gumball and then we can move it. If you can't find your gumball, you should turn on it here. Gumball button is here, okay? And now we are learning the first comment. Select these two lines. Find your curve toes. This is added curve toes. Okay. And find this one. Twin between two curves. Click it. And read your comment bar. Press enter to select options. And you can choose options here. If you are not very close to Rhino and you are a beginner, please read it every time. Okay. I need to change my number into 16 or 18, maybe 18, and press enter, press enter to accept options, cool. Now I have 18 lines. If we turn on the control points, this comment, left click, we will find we have two lines of control points, right? We need some more to control our form. Select the lines and find this one. Rebuild curve. Click it. We may want it to be 5 points and 3 degrees. Click OK. And now we have um, another 3 lines of control points. Select the middle one, this lines of control points. And we can drag them up. Now the lines form is changing, right? And you may think we can adjust the form one by one. It is very tired and also it is not exactly the same to this one, right? How can we do it then? Let's fold it back, Ctrl Z. And we are learning another comment now. Select your lines and we need to rebuild it again to have more control points. Maybe 20 and click OK. Now we have much more control points, a lot of control points. Select all of them and then we go to transform comment, this one, this small triangle here. Click it, drag it out and the second one, second small triangle. And we find this one, soft move, click it. Read your comment bar. Point to move from. So we need to find a point to move. Maybe here. And then you need to draw a circle. Read your comment bar. You can slide your radius. I just draw it. You can put two, three, or four. And then read it again. Offside point. Maybe at here. Select a control point to move. Press enter to a site. So it tells us we can control the control points. See here's some control points. We can drag it bigger. And also we can adjust the height of the form. This one. A bit like this. And also you can move it. Press enter to a site. Right click to turn off your control points. Now we made a smaller one. Oh guys, have a practice and then we continue the next step. Welcome back guys, let's review what we learned before we do the next step. The first one we learned twin between two curves comment, this one. And then we learned 
soft move comment. This one. Cool. Let's do the next step. If we have a surface like this, you don't need to know how to do it now. This loft comment, press enter. We will learn loft comment later. I just drag it out. If we have a surface like this, how can we create these lines? Do you know it? We can go to curve from object tools and find contour comment. This one, contour, radio common bar, contour plane base point. I set it here and then draw, draw your direction. And you can input your distance between contours. I want to input two, maybe. Cool, then we made some curve lines. Drag it out. This is the first method that we can create these lines. And the second one, let's do it. What other comment can we use? We can find this one, project curves. But before it, we can use a real long curve comment. So we need to have a curve first, and then draw another curve like this. We had it, left click. Head objects. We have two lines now. And then find the real long curve comment, this one. Select path curve, this one. And number of items. Maybe I want to choose distance between items. You can choose number of items. You can input 16. But for this one, because last one we used distance, so this one I still use distance. Two and click OK, and then we delay this one. Right click to show your object. First, we need to select all of the lines. Press Ctrl and click the surface to unselect the surface. And now we find project curve common. This one, left click. Read your common bar. Select surface, polylines, and mesh to project onto. Select the surface, press enter. And now all of the lines on the surface already. If we move the surface now to another place, you can see all the curves on the surface. And then we just need to delete all of these lines, right? Another way we can do it is uh, has a surface first. Select all of the lines, right click to show your surface, project curves, select the surface, and you can select delete input, yes, then we press enter. Now if we had the surface, you will find no more lines in the bottom plane, right? So there are many options you can choose. Please pay more attention to your comment bar next time. Cool guys, let's review what we learned. First, we can use control comment to create the lines from the surface. This one. Control comment. This one. And then we learned a real long curve comment to get our lines. The last comment we used is this one, project curve. We can project curve onto the surface. Cool guys, practice it. And thank you for watching. Hi guys, how's it going for the tutorials? Now I would like to share something with you. As you know, you can watch tutorials on our channel. But for those who just starting with 3D modeling or who is interested in having more details and semantic learning to improve their rhino skills, we have designed a series of architectural modeling and design courses for rhino and grasshopper. Come to our website, rhinoarchschool.com, the first link in the descriptions. Let's see how it works. Open your browser windows and tap rhinoarchschool.com. 
get close to look at our course. You can join our Rhino Architecture Design Tutorials from beginner to advanced course. The first one is Unlimited Time course. The second one is Monthly Payment course. They are the same course, just different purchasing method. Learning this course, you will get a step-by-step -step by approach to learn with how to be modeling organic architectures, parametric architectures through interesting cases and famous architects project. For example, the Hahadis project, Math project, Via Pingo's project, Shidiju Bonds project, and much much more. Join our professional architecture course and design your miracle. Also, if you want to have files, materials, or YouTube tutorials, you can guide them by supporting become our blog members. You can find the link in the description. I would like to thank all of our blog membership supporters. It really helps us create even better and more tutorials. If you like the tutorial and would like to see more, please click the like button and make sure you subscribe our channel and we publish the new videos two times per week.